the deer hooves make nice rattles and decorations and stuff like that. Hooves like this have been used all over the world. You have pig hooves, goat hooves, all different kinds of deer-like, antelope-like creatures. So what we need to remove these is to get the inside hot enough to start to cook and release this tissue that holds these uh, hooves on. Because inside here there's a bone. This isn't solid, it's hollow. So we want to get that nice and hot and then pop it off. You can do that in a campfire. So in the field you can put it in the hot ashes underneath the fire. Don't scorch it, don't overcook it, you just want to get it hot all the way through. An easier way if you're at home is just to use boiling water. So we're going to set these in here. So this water was just boiling. I just pulled it off the stove. Um, it doesn't have to be boiling. You don't have to boil them. But make sure you start with uh, water that's boiling hot. After a minute or two, you can start testing them. You can just use your hands if they're hot enough. They should just pop right off. Not hot enough. Let's try again with a different one. There we go. Now if you saw the video on removing the hawk skins, you'll remember that these little hooves down here, the dew claws, were cut off and left on the skin. But this leg still has the dew claws, so they're the same. I'm not sure that one's ready yet. I'm just going to put those back for a minute just in case they get easier. They're just hard to grab. Okay, if this is hard, just grab a pair of pliers because some deer will be harder, some, maybe like an older deer or something. But most of them will come off easy if you get them hot enough. There we go. There's two ways to prepare these and I have some samples to show you. This part down here is called the frog and it's soft. It's kind of like rubber and then this part is harder. So you can either leave the frog in and just trim around here. You need a pretty sharp knife because as you try to cut the hoof will bend away. So you can do it like that and leave the frog in place or but then come in here and cut the frog out. Please be careful, this is dicey. It's a little bit hard, so you'll have to push hard and then you're, you, know, you can get into trouble and cut yourself if you slip. Okay, so like that. And either way, go around and just you know, really try to clean these edges up nice before you dry them. Now here's some dried hooves to show you the difference. These ones that have the frog left in are basically louder. Unfortunately, I don't have a, any on strings to show you. And the ones with the frog cut out are quieter. They're more tinkly, like for instance, here's a rattle made all with ones with the frogs cut out. You can see they're pretty light. And the sound's nice and uh, tinkly. You have to use more hooves to make a loud rattle if you cut the frog out. I like this better, but it's just really, it's just different. If you're making like an anklet, which doesn't have that many hooves on it, then these are better because they're louder and they'll bang together and make more noise. What's cool though, is that you don't have to decide because you can re-soak these at any time. I would suggest at least just trimming off this junk right here and then you can dry them and at any time you just re-soak them in warm water and you can trim them however you want and re-dry them. The only other thing I do is I'll scrub them with a brush real well and then after they're dry I'll oil them. Probably want a hole in it. There's very few things you're going to do with these that you don't want a hole. Usually the hole is put here. You can dry them first and then drill a hole with a small drill just like a regular you know steel drill bit. You can also take an awl, jab a hole, in here. Insert a small stick into the hole 
let it dry in there, and then when it's dry you can pull that out and you'll still have a round hole that you can put a thong into. One last thing. You can't make glue out of this. It's keratin. It's not collagen. Hoof glue is kind of a misnomer. It's actually the lower feet. All the, everything else but this um, that's made into the glue.